Trying to clear the houses. Oh, he's going for the knife. Oh. <laughs> I cannot believe they're actually managing to get this GPMG back up. We got the Alamo right here. Another Russian pushing it on the right side of the team here. We might catch him off on the flank. Bobbing and weaving. Oh, and last one goes down. What an assault. What a defense. This is what I like to see. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down, and in this one, we've got Narva Advance and Secure V2, with a faction that I just realized had barely been shown on this channel, the British. A lot of y'all have been asking for non-US or Marine Corps teams to show off some different weapons, and on Narva ASV2, we actually get the British Scimitar Recon Vehicle and the 40mm CTAS, which is essentially an up-armored warrior with a giant giant 40 millimeter auto cannon. I absolutely love both of these vehicles and it's great to see them on maps that aren't Al Basra and Kohat. So I hope you guys enjoy some awesome mechanized infantry urban combat fighting. But before we get into that, I want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Apex Gaming PCs. I've partnered with them to bring you custom built PCs fit for whatever your budget and gaming needs are. So if you don't know where to start, pick one of my preset options or feel free to use those to customize whatever you want. Add more RAM, swap out the graphics card, or pick out a completely new case. Whatever you want, you can make your PC your own. And if you click the link in the description below and use code MOY at checkout, you can save up to $250 off your order. Thank you again to Apex Gaming PCs. Now let's get on with the video. All right, I in the sky, Narva, advance and secure V2. Uh, this is, I think the last time we did some Narva, it was actually Russia against the United States Marine Corps. And this time we actually... I, I don't think we've had much British. Have we had much British? I'm not quite sure. But we actually have the British uh, taking the Western spawn, and they're going to be having a typical uh, few Logi trucks, a uh, transport that spawns in right after uh, after staging ends, a couple Probably. LPPVs. Do you think we place another um, fab somewhere else? Which are the basically the British Mad Vs, uh, the FV 107, the tiny scimitar. And the FV520, the... Should we put another half down at train station? Actually, I like hearing some command comms early on. That's nice. Or the, this, we're also known as the CTAS, yeah, so the 40 millimeter uh, warrior. Super powerful. And as we kick off here, uh, the Russians on yeah, the eastern... Up, another hop would be useful. Russians yeah, on the right. eastern side have uh, a few lodges of their own. Uh, one scout car, the BRDM. Uh, two BTR-82s and a BMP. A uh, big thing to note here, though, is Russia is the only uh, only ones who can actually take advantage of some amphibious vehicles with the BRDMs, uh, two BTRs, and BMP, BMP2, all amphib, whereas the Brits have nothing going for them in terms of amphibious. So it will be interesting, especially when it comes around to uh, the river crossing main out east, as well as I've seen some people take advantage of this kind of, uh, it's more like a cooling pond for the power plant, something like that. So you can have the, the BTRs kind of do a nice little flank, chill in the water, just try to ambush. So will be interesting to see about that. Uh, we have radio station into old barracks, old hospital, uh, all the way into Oru Village, Kanepi, power plant into Maine. And just as we finish that up, we're about to have our first contact, CTAS. going right down Main Street and takes a couple hits from the BTR-82, but it looks like not much doing to it as the 40 mil opens up. BTR has to try to do a quick diversion. Oh, that was a full BTR-2. Really good to get behind some cover. As the CTAS takes some fire from downtown and he focuses back on the BTR at the gas station. Engine goes out for the sea task. Can be very hard to get tar shots on target now. Oh, RPG as well. This sea task might be done though. I'm not quite sure what he's shooting at. DTR just needs to stay true to it. 
Finish off in the turret. Oh my goodness, and what a huge loss if the CTAS loses to a BTR. On fire, backing up, and that's gonna be scratch one warrior for the British. Unbelievable. These CTAS chew up APCs, IFVs, like nobody's business, and in the first piece of contact, the 40 mil goes down. Incredible work by the Russian BTR. What squad two, Jaeger and Hemis. Oh no, uh, scratch that, uh, squad five. Nova Shocker actually was dropping the rest of his infantry as well. And curious, we had such good comms at the start of the game. I, I just double checked to see if I even had, uh, had <laughs> my comms muted for some reason. It got so quiet, nothing was uh, called out during that. And BNP engaging British over at Oru and down goes Alaji. Did take a hat round into the side and oh no! A blade of armor crewman dismounted. <laughs> I think he actually saved his BNP. Ends up in the front. He dismounted right in the path of a law. Came <laughs> right through the back. I, I think that actually saved the BNP. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And BMP, I don't think he even realized there was a AT in the backside because he's focused on the hat that you saw. We'll turn this back on. Shady Goldfish was the one that actually first tracked him with the in-law and then followed up with a law of his own and right behind the luckiest Jordan's rock <laughs> his, his law smashed right into this crewman here and Captain now he's going to be kind of stuck without uh, any help out here all by himself and maybe just might have to go down with the ship here. Don't believe Jordan has any other. I mean, yeah, he's just using his rifle now to make sure if there's any type of dismount trying to get the tracks up that he can deal with it and Captain swaps into the driver's seat. He's going to realize that he's actually tracked. And there it goes, Jordan with the patience. Oh, in-law, never mind. Shady Goldfish from way downtown finishes up what he started. And the BMP2. That's, you know what? You lose the C task, but at least you lose the BMP2 as well. Both kind of huge misplays. The, the C task should have killed that, that BTR and entire crew. Whereas the BMP2, if we're being completely honest, should not have been out all by himself. Good uh, kill on the Lanji, but you can see here... The the fob and oh, yeah. the, the resources. So this is actually I'd like to... this is actually uh, dropped already. So right by armor. Uh, British, we're able to get down. Right, Let's take a that. look at the map real quick. Old barracks. Uh, it looks like Squad Three was trying to push it, but and Mister <laughs> Julius Caesar with the recruit kit. Actually, Noah, <laughs> you rarely see this. Actually, uh. Old Barracks, it looks like it was about to be capped, but Squad 3 got pushed off. Squad, I'm guessing by Squad uh, 8 or maybe this BTR earlier, so... To, um, barracks. Old Barracks not captured yet. This might be really big and, and when it comes down to advance and secure. Right. Whoever gets to the middle caps is going to be uh, in a much better position. Kanepi secured by Russia. And actually, yeah, if we take a look at where we're... I think we're hovering over right now. Old Hospital, because... Uh... Where are we at? Because uh, Oru Village. Exactly oh, hold on a second. Kind of the moment, you probably find out. I, I feel like Russia is getting a little bit ahead of themselves right now. You have a lot of Russian presence on Old Hospital, but nobody is playing for Oru Village. So despite Old Barracks being a little bit slower to cap, you see Squad 3 is now moved in position to cap it with uh, Afterlife here. R really good work. You just need one person to get in that cap zone. With Afterlife... Uh, securing it, you could have actually had Russia be pushing Oru Village and have that up by the time Old Barracks is down, but I, I think this is a, a case of people just being stuck in the current firefight they're at, and despite being behind in caps, British are probably going to secure Old Hospital with no issues and maybe even Oru. 285 uh, tickets for British, armor. 312 hey, for Russia. They are just camping us. Infantry for British trying to create some space here. <laughs> it sounds like a GL uh, min armed here. As Russia, this is from that first initial push. The dismounts 
from that BTR, and they managed to drop a, a radio, get a Lodgy in here, and... Stalled pretty good at Kidepi here, but there's a BTR here. And there you go. Very good, uh, at least, presence for Russia, but it's going to be all for naught unless they can hit something at Oru. You can see there, uh, Russia's actually getting killed from one or two British down at Kinepi. Fantastic work. And this is, uh, this early game map control is, is just so important. You can see the scimitar actually taking some shots. Is that a hey guys, the RDM? Oh, it is. Uh, Scimitar. Oh, he's kind of whipping his shots. Oh, right underneath. Oh, he might have just tagged it. Ah, I cannot believe he's missed these shots. His BRDM really should not have gotten out of that, but Scimitar should be able to mop him up. No problem. In law. Trying to take all the credit now. And I mean, the BRDM with that upgraded. 14.5 should be able to do some damage, but I I don't think he's going to have any shot here unless something absolutely crazy happens. Easy here. Well, there you see. Oh, I see his Ven right here. Yep. Turret. Easy pickings for the scimitar. Oh. BRDM. How is this? What is happening right now? Scout car. Still alive somehow. Scimitar still needs to be careful. As you can see, that is tearing through the scimitar. Oh my god, no way! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? No, and he killed the he killed the in-law as well. Russian infantry mops up Voya. And BDA Vin. Ooh, I am speechless. Absolutely speechless. The BRD in that could. Scout car is going to limp back and hopefully get to main and repair. Oh my goodness. What a huge play. Just being patient, sitting down. And you can see, I, I, I don't know how the scimitar wasted so many early shots and being basically hold down earlier. A little BRD in able to just keep his turret up and... Non-accurate shots and well, Scimitar paid for it. Fantastic play. Unbelievable. Oh man, I just, I cannot believe that actually just happened. 277 tickets for the British. Uh, and they are down all of their vehicles. Uh, we can see uh, Scimitar will be spawning in in nine minutes and the CTAS for another eight. We do believe I still have both BDRs unless something crazy happened earlier too. Uh, one BTR down south. Uh, looks like we might have... Oh no, second BTR up by Old Hospital. And just as we thought Old Hospital secured, Oru Village now going to be uh, contested. And it looks like British might be able to win that battle here. So huge... <laughs> Russia with some fantastic vehicle plays and just losing the map control, whereas the British infantry are just bearing the brunt of the map right now, taking uh taking old hospital, managing to stall Russian infantry. It looks like a mine just went off way out there. Yeah, BTR hit by a mine. And you can see the LPPV. Yeah, you can see Sergeant South Peppers. Calling it out here. Might just run right into Yoru, actually, as he turns the corner. Oh, hold on a second. Is Yoru going to actually get this? Oh, and he does go down. I think he got tagged from somewhere else. But Sergeant Peppers did call it out. You see the LPPV that I'm guessing the comm engineer used earlier. Uh, Jaeger and Hemis going to limp back their BTR. And 290 tickets, 295. Still pretty even. But you can see uh, radio station Old Barracks and Old Hospital secured by British with only Power Plant and Kinepi secured right now, by Russia. So by it is a six cap map, but right now Russia is about to be down to only two caps unless they can. They really need a hard swap off of Old Hospital. You got such a large Russian presence up here. And this isn't an active point right now as mortars start slamming down as well. Chalker, Nova. Nampa, all you guys 
You need to open your map and realize, hey, wait a second. We might need to help our guys here in squad four, actually. Oh, this is a fantastic. They're all pretty banged up, though. I see Top Gun, Julio, Cesar, and Just too Eerie. Not much health all between the three of them, but they're going to try to pinch the British. Well, you need to hit your shots if you want to do that, and it looks like that didn't work. Top Grunt goes down. And Sergeant Peppers. Oh, re the respawn actually. Killing him earlier might have just completely ruined this push. As Julio Cesar going to try to get his SL up. But Sergeant Peppers should hear that. Oh, we're going to run right past it. Couple of infantry. Yep, Sergeant Peppers. Good call out, though. You see, uh, uh, should have heard that. Russian AK right behind him and Slim McKenzie. Did you get the AK guy? Where is he? There you go. Good comms. Well, not yet. No confirmation. Slim McKenzie with the silent treatment. Oh, does he have a pistol out? Slim McKenzie, what are you doing? Uh, Trying to sweep and clear with a pistol. Coming in this way, I don't know. Killed like four. And nope, right behind him. Was he in the half? Julio Cesar. Oh, kill Slim McKenzie. Oh, actually, good trade. Okay, Slim does at least kill Julio. And uh, Sergeant Peppers and Crazy Candy are a little confused at what's going on because Slim, not only is he being a marksman, he's being a silent marksman. Nuclear goes down top grunt, holding the barn. And I just don't understand how nobody. Un Nobody's understanding where people are. There you go, Santa's. Just <laughs> stuffs his machine gun right down the throat of Top Gun, and that ends the little flank out west that could have done uh, really well to pinch. But you can see Oru Village is completely secured by the British, and there's only, what, half a squad on the east side. Almost nobody left at Kanepi. Russia thinks the fight is at Old Hospital, and I, it's just, it's unfortunate that their vehicles are doing so well and i feel like their infantry they're not paying attention get up and move you can also i say it's the infantry's fault but as a as a, a vehicle squad as well if you are these btrs you need to say hey infantry jump on in Let, let's take a ride down south we need to get where the fight's supposed to be oh no squad chief five, smoking tree coming down to <laughs> village with me please A little, uh, almost vehicular manslaughter right there with hucking and some mortars coming in. And that is a Russian mortar fob just north of Castle set up. And once again, I, it's a lot of resources going in to attack a point that frankly does not matter right now. And as good as it is, the British comms and the British infantry movement down south in Oru is what's winning the game. Oh, Noah, about to charge right through from the corner, hot, and he, we don't have enough bill to support he doesn't even have an iron, or he just has iron sights, rather. No optic, might turn the corner, and Shady Goldfish. There you go. Oh, <laughs> good shot. Tries to leap over the fence, and Noah has nowhere to go. Just picking them off one by one. You start to see some mortars now. Did they redirect? Oh, fantastic. A Peshmerga okay, actually like dropped down and decided, you know what? Like three, useless. Five, four, useless. That's not how you help out your squad. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get one of my squad mates to do it. Uh, I don't, uh, I mean. Like, stop spawning there. I'll, I'll just say this. There's a certain way to interact with your squad and, or, and teammates and... Meters from the, or your, uh, fob on the west. Right now you're we winning. Have you have good map control and there is a mortar a fob. Down, so, so knocking out that mortar fob might be a good play. Maybe you just need to communicate, but I don't like the whole useless type comms yeah, in, uh, pretty soon here. in command chat That's correct. as Seva goes down as well. Start losing it. Maybe, uh, you're, yep. 
FOB now on the west side. The western push finally is coming down. And Rush a top grunt and Julio in round two. And it looks like they got their combat engineer in as well. This is what I why I do not like. Look, look at what's going on right here, guys. You have a bunker on the, uh, on the outside here. And you also have a crazy sandbag funnel a, with, uh, uh, with a HESCO. How are you supposed to get back in here and dig up the radio uh, if your spawn uh, is overrun? You've now created a defensive position for people to destroy your own half. Radio's now on bleed out and the British, for some reason, have created a situation where they got to fight just to get back inside. And this whole thing... I don't know if I've seen a better fatal funnel than what is right here. And it should just be a, a kill zone. Marksman comes in and there's one. You only have to look at one door. They can't come in anywhere else. Oh, why you go? Oh, no, they might. Russia might just lose this. Going for the bandage. Really shouldn't. Oh, no, that is just a bad. All right, never mind. Uh, somehow, some way, Russia scuffed it. I don't understand. Are they actually going to come out with this? Rex. Trying to save the radio, swapping to the shovel. Yeah, uh, oh no! Oh, oh, absolutely heartbreaking. Rex can't even believe his eyes. He's staring. Okay, sweet. Yeah, no, please, please come back, out, baby. Guess. Baby, I was right uh, here. Done out the mortar fob. Uh, Why you gotta leave me? <laughs> absolutely, just stuck in shock. Damn done. Oh man, oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Russia doing just enough and Spot well, that's five. again. Go ahead and recreate a new uh, fob point for Oru village. We why just you... lost our uh, fob there. This is why you yeah, do not want to do that in Humpari. Oh, <laughs> whips the grenade. Tries his okay, underhand and almost kills himself. He's actually bleeding out. Oh, he has almost no health left. He <laughs> goes down and does trade. <laughs> Um, buddy. Oh, good effort. I mean, hey, he clears it out. <laughs> there was a lot Made the most out of it. And uh, all right, that is one way to clear Oru. And Oru is now going to start going down to Russia here shortly. Uh, Mortar Fob, Squad 3. Somewhere near the point would be best. Uh, squad 3, yeah, we're able to, we're to go, go out and knock out this, uh, this Mortar um, Fob, which the, is good. The, um, rally on that and try and, and there's actually... There. Hold on a second. Not enough Russians have actually got onto Oru just yet. Give it maybe another minute, and they will be in. Yeah, you can see this giant rectangular, a rectangular uh, box, rectangle, like cube. Can a cube be a three D? Cube is only a three D shape. Can a rectangle be a three D? No, a rectangle is a two D. Is this a cube? Not a cube. A cube has to be a square on four sides. But can a three? I'm confused. Somebody tell me, what is what is a rectangle that is 3D? You know what I'm talking about. Russia in the 3D rectangle to Kurun Oru village, and that is a huge wipe. And honestly, I, I kind of wish I was uh, hearing some Russian comms because it looks like the two squads that were. Hold on a second. I apologize for the quick camera movement there. Sky Dog, one of the last. British left on the point manages to get a law off before he gets domed. Jaeger and Hemis have been fantastic in the BTR so far, and they're probably going to fall back a bit. Pop off. No need to be running out without uh, full health right now. And yeah, the, the Russians out east of Old Hospital. Hard reset down south. Very good call. Spawning over at uh, uh, the Western Refinery here and pushing into Oru. Complete wipe. You see squad five. Oh, actually, that's a not a, not a bad sneaky fob. It can you can play onto Oru. You can also play into Kinepi. Uh, the big thing here is I'm just curious. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I saw a red radio mark go down here for a second, so a little confusing. Maybe I think uh, SL placed it by mistake. 
removed it a second after and then dropped that hab. So, uh, yeah, good mark or good, uh, good hab just south. And now we'll try to see with, uh, now even on, on objectives. And just about even on tickets. 223 tickets for British. 231 for Russia. With the CTAS back online, I mean, BTRs are still up. Russia haven't lost a single offensive vehicle. As I say that as... Sounds like another vehicle hit a mine here. Really even game. I want that armor. I want that armor, you hear him. Yeah, BRDM Squad 5's calling out BRDM and BTR out east. Um, well, he's not calling it out. He's actually just marking it. Really need to call that out. Not much help if you just mark it on the map and not say anything. As Dirt and Hucking are going to roll right past an enemy hab and not even realize it's Spiky Mort. Yeah, driver calls him out and says, yo, you got a Russian right behind that fence. You see Shay with his RPG backpack. Spiky living on the edge here, somehow dodging HE and Shay. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! Takes a, a, a tandem from the uh, the left side as he's focused on the right. And the CTAS might just want to get out of here. Uh, way too much infantry, especially AT infantry. Is, does get one RPG. Oh, hold, whoa, hold on. You are not amphibious there, dude. Nearly drives right into the water there. Is, I'm hoping they call out that infantry, see if it's marked on the map yet. Nope. Uh, you do see the CTAS mark for Russia, uh, and looks like might be able to get a repair station down here for the British. The CTAS can stay oh, out. 204. Um, who's going to uh, Oru? 204 tickets to uh, 268, and that is all to uh, uh, the Oru village flip. Squad five and four on the defense point. We just need one squad attacking. Oru village secured by Russia, and in the meantime, the original Russian fob, we can see... Oh my gosh, it, it looks like, uh... We need defense, so whoever can get to Old Hospital to defend the point is fantastic. It looks like only one or two British infantry have kept this entire fob pinched up. It looks like Kristoff is finally... as he's... <laughs> kind of twirling out of the, uh, the apartment there. Had kept a lot of people stuck up in the hab area and hold on a second what is going on here here in the bmp I'm trying to see what he's actually shooting at oh there it is he had a couple what just even happened here russian lodgy goes down Mephisto and where they have uh oh hit a mine actually hit a mine squad three knocked out the uh Russian mortar fob earlier and have actually mined right next to the uh, the castle here and Hemis and Jaeger upgrading from their BTR into the BMP now oh yeah scratch that said uh, <laughs> Russia has not lost any uh, offensive vehicles earlier but no they did lose that BMP too um, earlier, and another mine goes off. We got where it goes. He's oh, nearly tracks the BMP, and actually looks like it did no damage. Afterlife, very unlucky to not track that BMP. We might have another showdown here. Is the BMP? Is right up through Main Street and well, Voya with the hat, the in law, that could cause a lot of damage. You also have the CTAS coming up Main Road from the south, and if they get marks on it, we could have another CTAS uh, vehicle fight here. Well, once again, I the CTAS should really just chew through, chew through anything the, uh, the Russians have. Our, uh, our house. 
Ab to Old Hospital right now. All uh, right, so right. Oru Village, pretty good. Uh, Russia has firm control over that, but they are losing the Kanepi Road Fob. That's where they've actually been spawning in to attack Oru from the east, so need to be careful about that. Uh, the Old Hospital Fob, does they even have a fob here? Uh, no, they actually have a... Wow, I do not like this at all. Um, it's one thing... Hold on, we're going to go take a look at that. So it's one thing to have a radio and a hab uh, separated that's that's not a bad move that's actually pretty common so if you find one you don't find the other but this is such an odd i don't I, this is very odd old hospital is the actual objective All right i'm gonna turn this uh turn our little rectangle 3d box again and you will see the objective is this rectangle area uh the radio is actually in the objective so the when you push in, you won't overrun the hab, but you'll actually find the radio almost like if you lose the point, you now lose the radio. A very odd choice, especially when you have uh, all these buildings. Look at all the you could put radios all in these buildings. And it's actually very common, you know, a top floor of, of one of these high rises. Uh, you put a radio here and then use the hab outside so you don't get overrun and destroy the radio in one go. But now as Russia filters through the objective, as you can see, they're actually pushing on to an old hospital from the east side. That radio is going to go down. Not only are you using the objective, you're losing the radio, you're losing your spawn point. A huge wipe and you see it in the tickets, 177 tickets to 231. We might have a uh, another huge ticket sweep. Wait, are they not even digging it down? Is, is this, like, hidden in plain sight type thing? I'm... Have they not even gone in this, this room yet? I actually don't think a single Russian has walked through this, this part of the building. Might be just hidden in plain sight. We'll have to see. Uh, because... Russia nearly uh, halfway to neutral. Like you more at Mayan Sume, they should be able to get this i'm very curious as to why not lppv comes rolling right down main and they're gonna come up right behind a btr this is not gonna end well for them oh detonate some mine but they're going way too fast a mad max and through the streets of narva somehow dodged a mine dodged the bmp2 and We'll see. Oh, they're feeling lucky. <laughs> Start. Oh, drive by in the BMP and they take an RPG into the front. <laughs> Smoking. Taking a lot of small arms. Here, can you guys uh, mark where you guys want motors? They're having a blast just causing chaos around the old hospital. Doing what they can. I don't know if... Oh, you got... RPG front, they're calling it out. Oh, he's reloading. One goes down. Out of the top of the clown car, another RPG smacks the back of the LPPV and they're on fire. Gonna have to do a quick dismount. Still alive. <laughs> Still alive, yep. Oh, a good little turn. Knocked out one rush in there. And you can hear the scout car actually engine up for that one and down goes the LPBV. Hey, you know what? Sometimes it's just good to have fun in squad. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, and it looks like our last Joyrider is about to get obliterated here and we'll leave him be as oh, just as I was about to say the CTAS should rip through anything that the Russians throw at them, and in one little burst of autocannon, BMP is deleted. As artillery is now coming down. This is Russian artillery on the British position here. And radio did finally get down. Kind of a huge waste of artillery, if I'm being honest. You have a hab that is outside of the objective with the radio in the old hospital. And a lot of this artillery is most likely going to hit the, the buildings here, but... Hey, you know what? Still, uh, <laughs> still getting the objective, so.
Well, wait, wait a second. Hold, hold, hold. Wait, hold. Wait, what? Hold on a second. They never got the rate. What? They never got the radio. Now they're getting the radio. Oh my god! I thought the radio was down already. They are just now digging it. Unbelievable. And they're actually taking some grenades. Adeptus, Asartes, and Blade. Taking some GL fire as... Who is this? Mint Oreos and milk. Trying to push in and save his radio. Thank you, man. I suspect you have a, uh, some type of spawn point down there, but... Might be able to, to help clear it out. Let's see, he just peeks and... Knocks out one Russian here in Old Hospital. Right as I open the map here, I'm sure there's going to be comments that... Oh, boy! On, guys. Close need, your map! Help, help I would if I had a bit easier UI to do all this stuff. It's all it's the only way I can see. I can't see uh, if things are being capped later, without the we, map open. Old Hospital, old Hospital secured. Radio's going to be on uh, Bleed Out more. Now. And, uh, 141 oh, tickets for the UK. 224 for Russia and well as as well as the British did early game to get good map pressure and uh, to push the the Oru village cap they Russia bounced back and good reset earlier to to make sure they did not lose a uh, Kinepi and now you have the scimitar wreaking havoc Skydog and Pixel I mean this this game is far from over 137 tickets 222 Well, there goes 20. There's that radio. Goes down. I mean, the scimitar, if they, they're they smart. Yes, let me know how close my are to works. You can actually, if they go in just a little bit. Oh, they say back up. Honestly, he looked. He could have probably got that radio. Uh, but still, keeping, keeping infantry buttoned up here. Uh, you might allow British infantry from the gas station to help push north into Oru and... Wow, he must have been exactly 31 meters. Pat and this scimitar is about to realize very soon that they do not have a lot of armor. <laughs> oh no. Yells his... Yells fall back as his buddies burning outside the wreckage of the scimitar. They're gonna try to observe. Wait for that smoke. Oh, back. That is down. Yeah, and that Sorry, smoke guys. should at least. Uh, I'm not sure. Eh? If I was Russia here, I'd see that smoke and say, hey, there's probably infantry nearby. But Skydog trying to get his crew back up. Possibility of taking out at least one or two people if we push right now. He's able to get uh, them up. Like that would be huge. Like in there and then we can rush it. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> right here. Did he just get the? Almost like the floor came out for me here. All right. Not quite sure what that was, but right, crew up. Good. Pixel just says, I'm Russian. Right, going full auto. Going full auto. And we'll see what they're about to run into. Right. They're... I'm on your right. Go, go, go. I'm going right. Actually, might be huge. You got TB PCB yeah, meta right, right uh, outside. Mortars drop into old hospital. Let me know how and close he have. should oh, notice that in, the, yep, guy pushing in. in. Insane micro. On one side, takes out... Pixel. Sky Dog. Oh, good effort. But good good awareness. Meta and Insane Micro took a look up and noticed that they did not have their uh, their spawn available. So notice that the hab was overrun, turned quickly and uh, cleared that up. Really, really good effort. 
by Russian infantry. And we can see now old barracks is starting to get pushed. And I think this is about Dunzo. You have British. They're all still fo focused on Oru Village because that was the previous cap. But with old hospital going down, the only way back in this is a good hard push on the old hospital. Uh, green next to the, the hab out east of old ha hospital. The Russian father has been pretty much up all game wreaking havoc on that front and i'm i'm looking at the map here and uh with the way i'll just say this with the way that british are playing now and the lack of comms and the fact that the CTAS might just be absolutely obliterated by this btr after getting his crewman smoked by an rpg i think the british are just about out of it. Sw swaps the driver, but that isn't going to be able to do anything with a track and especially with a tandem round right into the engine. Fuck that. <laughs> there you go. I'm going down with this thing. Love to hear it. RPG comes back in the backside. Trying to do as much damage as he can before he's obliterated. And here you go. BTR from the north. He can still do it. And he does. Yeah, he did. What a play. Oh, there you go. That's what you want to do when you're just out of tracks, out of engine, and down to one crewman. Take someone out with you. BTR goes down as the CTAS explodes. But that's a trade that I'll take. If you're out all by yourself, good effort from the CTAS crew. And well, that's uh, 35 tickets to 185. Russia in firm control of old barracks, firm control of this game. And firm control of BTR turrets flying into the distance. <laughs> Does it really go that far? I mean, I'd expect that much from a T-72, but a BTR? <laughs> Alright, well, there you go. Just how much damage the seat test did, and... Well, is this another Mad Maxon? I think it is. LPPV. Rolling right through... And trying to see what they can do to uh, to help clear old barracks, but I think this is going to be <laughs> a very short trip for them. You can see infantry. Oh, there you go, taking shots in the shoulder and yeah. runs over a Russian. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he actually got stuck somewhere. Hold on a second. LPPV, RPG might be able to always <laughs> flying everywhere. You actually see, I'm pretty sure that Russian got like launched into under the map or something because his rifle stayed there. I didn't see the, uh, the player pop back up and grenade is thrown. Trying to clear the houses. Oh, he's going for the knife! Oh! <laughs> I cannot believe they're actually managing to get this GPMG back up. We got the Alamo right here. Another Russian pushing it on the right side of the team here. Might catch him off on the flank. Good shots here. Bobbing and weaving. Oh, and last one goes down. What an assault! What a defense! This is what I like to see. I just, I love these types of moments in squad where you, you have this little last stand <laughs> after a joy ride through the streets of Narva and, and giving uh, both players, those who push that and those who defended it, because that is a, that is an awesome, awesome engagement. And it looks like a RPG hitting the LPPV, catching him on fire with seven tickets. That is a smart move. That's going to be minus five don't down to up, two so and 224 tickets to british 
eventual no tickets. That is a decisive victory after what was an extremely close game. Wow. There it goes. Five tickets. 224 for Russia. Zero for British. We stood no chance. It stood no chance. I don't, I don't know about that. That was an incredibly close game. Uh, teams were pretty much even all the way through halfway and just one or two. You know what they say, dude. One or two. Uh, one or two. Uh, choices and decisions between SLs and vehicles really turn the ties. GG's.